Hi, welcome to Sensor Telematics. I'm going to show step-by-step -step procedure to create a geofence. Once the place, page is loaded completely, just go to the main menu that is geo mapping. Uh, under that, you have to select a capture a geofence. Once you just click on that, once you click on that, it will redirect to the geofencing landing page. So here it is loading, the still page is loading. Once the page loaded completely, you are able to see a, a add new button. Just hover on it. So we can get two options that is rectangle and polygon. I will explain, I will give a step by step information to create a rectangle and polygon uh, geofence. So I will go one by one. First I will uh, I will explain the rectangular then I will move to the polygon. So just click on the rectangular area option. So once you click on that we need to find before going to mark it we have to know the location to mark the geofence. How are you going to mark, how are you going to find out that location? We have a three option to find out uh, a location. First option we have by giving a latitude and longitude you can search that location or second option we have by giving vehicle number we can search that location and third option we have third option we have by giving the location name we can search the particular location so I will I will explain three of it so I will take some uh, two points two points two points so that is latitude and longitude for example so this is my latitude and longitude so once you are done once you fill the two points just click on the search button it will locate the exact location by using the latitude and longitude so the red the red balloon what are you showing this is what we search that particular location I, I want to search i want to search the exact location just zoom it and find out that location so once you've done that just click on the click on the map and to mark the rectangular geofence so this is what i have done just clicking on them uh, just clicking on the clicking on the map you can uh, you can make a rectangular geofence once you once you mark the exact location you can make the geofence as much as bigger and smaller as per your requirement so this is what we found the location by giving latitude and longitude next option we have that is vehicle number by giving a vehicle number we can search the exact location for suppose the vehicle for example the vehicle is halting presently there so we can search vehicle uh, the location by vehicle number so here we have it two vehicles so this is my uh, the 6421 the vehicle is halting there uh, halting in that location just giving the vehicle number so don't give any date because the vehicle is already there the presently there so if we want the yesterday yesterday timing and day you can give it so once you search uh, once you give after selecting a vehicle just click on the search vehicle it will find that location exact location so this is the red balloon what we got the that location what we got that location just clicking on the map you can mark the uh, look location this is what I got the exact location by giving the vehicle number. So the presently vehicle is here in that look in this location. So uh, so just click on the uh, map. You can mark the geofence. So you can make the geofence as much as bigger, smaller as per your requirement. So third, we will move to the third option. We can search the location by uh, by giving the location name. For example, I will take uh, some. Uh, I will take 
uh, example as sensor telematics i want to find that location just type just you have to type your location name so sensor telematics so i got that location just click on it and it will find that location this is a red balloon what we got the exact location I will zoom in the location I will zoom in the map and I will mark the exact location this is what my exact location so I will click on the map and I will make the geofence I will mark the geofence as much as bigger and smaller as per my as per the requirements so this is once you're done with marking marking a geofence uh, to save the geofence we have to fill some required fields so in the left hand left hand side you have to fill the required details uh, we have to give a geofence name what we mark we we marked so i will give you some uh, i will take name as sensor geofence name and the what type of geofence it is is it a land uh, is it a loading area unloading area customer area parking area or other in my case i will select other so um, uh, alert on next option is alert on so uh, this feature is especially when when you need a alert when you need a alert in the sense whenever whenever vehicles enters into in that in this in this location you can get a in email or sms alert by filling these fields so whenever the vehicles in we if you need you can get a alert whenever out from that location you can get a alert or you can get both the time whenever it is in and out from that location depend upon the requirement you can fill it here uh, these details once you once you given the the alert by alert by means how you need an alert just by uh, you need a alert by email or sms you can give you can select the, any one of this so once you've done that you have to give a mail id in this box you have to type the mail id in this box or uh, if you want you can uh, if you want sms alert by sms you can fill the mobile number here so once you, you can give a multiple email IDs and multiple as well as multiple mobile number as per your requirement so i will select none of here once you've done that we have to uh, we have to fill some address details i will i will give this address as sensor telematics so district is bangalore and the state is karnataka so this address section is over the second one is alert details <clears throat> alert is details sense this 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 geofence the next alert in the sense you you need this geofence for all vehicles or you want for a particular vehicles you want to use this geofence for a particular vehicles if you want like that feature you can select the vehicles ids here and vehicle ids and in my case i will select for all this geofence belongs to all vehicles once you've done that uh, once you've done that you have to save the geofence so we have to we have to save the geofence just click on the save button it will save save the geofence so we have successfully created a geofence so in left hand side you can see the the geofence what we have created here it is listed out so if you want to view the geofence just click on the sensor name it will it will view the geofence we can able to view the geofence if you want to edit the geofence you can edit by clicking on edit button you can edit the geofence so if you want 
if you want still more uh, uh, if you want to uh, make a uh, geo fence bigger you can make the geo fence as much as bigger just selecting a red balloon so if you want a smaller you can make it as a smaller so this is what i have done if you want to change any details you can change here so once you done editing the geofence again you have to save it once you save the geofence so successfully we have edited the geofence just click on the geofence uh, just click on sensor uh, geofence name and you can view so what we have So what we have created the geofence so next we'll move to the next option that is polygon polygon geofence just click on the second option that is polygon area once you've done this so once you click on the polygon area uh, same as usual we have done uh, we did previously we have to find the location before going to mark the geofence so uh, I will I will search the location by vehicle ID <coughs> once you click on the search button it will show the exact location I want to mark the geofence as a irregular geofence that is polygon geofence just you have to make the points we are going to allow only nine points to create a geofence so we, um, if you, you we are going to allow only nine points how you can see here first point here sorry uh, if you want you can clear it sorry I can cl I can clear the geofence uh, here sorry so I will start from the here first point second point third point four five six we are going to allow only nine points once you completed the nine point you are not able to draw the any more geo uh, any more points so you can clear the geofence by right clicking on the map you can clear the geofence again i am going to write again i am going to draw the polygon polygon area <coughs> the geofence must be irregular geofence must be closed once you've done that, you just click on the starting pipe to close the geofence. So, sorry, I have to clear once again. I will mark this is as the location. So, once you've done that, uh, once you're done with the proper uh, polygon, you have to uh, you have to close the geofence. To close the geofence, just click on the starting point of the Ge uh, marker just click on here it will close the geofence once you've done that you have to fill the required details to save the geofence so here so here we have to same thing what we have done for the rec while creating the rectangular area just we have to fill the these details once you save the geofence once you're done with once you're done with the filling just save on save uh, just click on the save button uh, the geo it is setting geo fence name is already exist i will change the name as sensor one and just save with the geo fence so geo fence has been created successfully so just go to the sensor one geo fence what we have uh, just now created just click on it uh, just click on the name so it will show the once you click on the uh, sensor uh, uh, geofence name so it will show the, uh, the what we have created the polygon or uh, what we say uh, irregular geofence so this is what we have created if you want you can edit here if you want to edit the irregular geofence you can edit the geofence by pointing on uh, by looking at the uh, the points so he can you can here you can edit the geofence so like that you can do it or you can edit like this 
just once you're done with the editing just you can save or uh, you, you can save the geofence so geofence has been updated successfully this is what uh, this is the uh, what I given uh, step by step procedure to create a geofence so so if you want to show all the geofence you can just clicking on all show all you can able to view all the geofence so once you click on the show all it will show the geofence you can able to see the uh, blue blue lines blue dotted lines uh, dotted so these are the geofence it will list out the all the geofence on the map so thank you for watching